Welcome back, everybody, to Rimworld. I forgot about this, uh, to be honest with you. We've got currently a three-way showdown between Eldritch Monstrosities, a shitload of insects, and a bunch of Dark Elves, because that's kind of what I expected with this series, to be honest with you. Our guys are not drafted up yet, though I'm pretty tempted to maybe get into some defensive positions, because it doesn't matter, uh, unless the Elves can win it, bear in mind they are, they are a, a tribal, well, basically tribal, I don't think they will. We're, we're going to be fighting whoever whoever wins, uh, essentially. So let's go and squad our boys up. Now, what I am hoping is that these, um, yeah, they've got nothing but they've got nothing but melee weapons. I am hoping the muffalo get killed on the way out though, because that would give us a nice little bit of loot there. Oh, they do have flintlocks. Hang on, all the way back here. That guy's dual wielding flintlock pistols, which is uh, pretty goddamn cool, actually. Okay, hopefully the muffalos die, and then we get ourselves some tasty free gear. Um, you know what? I underestimated these elves. I think they actually genuinely might be okay. Look at that. The Muffalos are starting to flee, so unfortunately the chance of us getting anything from those is non-existent. If they're able to kill the Chthonian, oh my god, they actually did it. Holy shit. And the best part is we've got a whole bunch of dropped tools as well that we can go and pick up there. Anyway, welcome back to Rimworld. That was a fun little war that I thought we would have to fight. In response to yesterday's episode, first things first, a lot of people said turn off common sense. We'd, we've never had common sense for this mod pack. Um, it was in the mod pack, but then I removed it after the second episode, I think it was, because it was causing some issues. Well, I say we never had it. We had it for the first episode. Um, but we, we, we've, done, we've never had it since then. So the mystery of why they keep getting out of bed uh, during that time is... It's still existing. That's, that's still a mystery we've got to worry about. But yeah, I'll, I'll scroll through the list very slowly here. If you want to pause and take a look through, be my guest. But if anybody can work out what the hell is actually causing that, I mean, you you win. You you win uh, in imaginary. You win some Mr. Streamer points. So I don't want to build a hospital, but the issue is, of course, we've still got to build the bathrooms. We've still got to build the bedrooms. We've still got to deal with the parishes. There's a lot of stuff that we've got to build. Um, I think, honestly, in terms of... In terms of priority, I agree that the hospital is probably second to only the kill box at this stage. So we'll deal with that before we deal with uh, building the bathrooms, which will come after that. But we'll go ahead and cancel the small amount of designations we've got down there. Let's go and pick through the remains. So what we can do as well is we can deal with this goddamn sinkhole without anybody getting in our way. Oh, but if we go near the Chthonian one, it drives them mad, right? Um, or maybe it doesn't. It used to be when you saw these things, what I remember, when you looked at them, even if they were dead, it still gave, like, minus 80 mood. Um, does it still do that? It does not. Okay, that's pretty lucky. C uh, can we melee attack it, or can we just fill it in? Um, cancel? Cancel? Canceling filling? Oh, is that what that means? Filling the hole is, is just hitting it? Oh, Ups is going to fill the pit. Can we not just melee attack it to death? Does that not also work? Um, apparently so. Maybe it is quicker to fill the hole, though. Let's try that. Uh... Or not. Or it'll just pause the game. Hey, you know what? Let's just wail on it. Let's just wail on it till it collapses. That should solve the problem. One cool thing about those is you can also throw prisoners down there to um, to to feed to the pit. And then loads of mini versions of the Chthonians will explode out of it later on. Anyway, let's grab ourselves some loot. Whatever there happens to be lying around. We can also try and save these people for a little bit of opinion there. Um, freezing still play armor of victory. I would like that. That person's going to bleed out anyway. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to take that. Um... Rescue that one, if we can. Uh, oh, right, of course we have no medical beds, do we? Shit. Um, let's not worry about that. Let's just grab the loot that we can and get out of here. Right, give me give me that as well. I can't believe that stripping characters doesn't count as anger in factions still. It's such a weird thing. I can't believe they haven't changed it yet. So is that armor any good? Freezing armor of something, something, something. There it is. Um, gives much lower minimum comfortable and maximum comfortable temperature. And it gives melee hit chance. Oh, okay. Freezing steel plate armor of victory. That's quite cool. And what's the market value on that? I assume the infusement affects it. Uh, 760. We can get the shit hauled and then see if there is a ship later on. Because we probably won't use that. I mean, using uh, using melee is not going to be a top tier priority unless we get some of those linked mono swords, linked warhammers, whatever they're called. Those would be kind of cool. But I'm probably not going to hang on to it for for one of those to potentially turn up. So let's also stick some insect corpse in here just to make some kibble out of, but I'll make sure that we're not putting it into meals very quickly, uh, just in case. Raw meat, and then we want to see insect meat is unticked. Cool. The only downside to that is, of course, if they start starving to death, they will eat the insect meat, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but that's okay. We'll uh, cross that out when we get there. The one thing we don't want is that Chthonian, so you can leave that right on the floor. Oh, our stockpile itself is full. Oh, it actually is. Oh, that's annoying. Um, we could do with a proper stockpile building or expanding out this workroom or something like that rather than just uh, rather than just throwing everything into there. Okay, who's a major 
break risks here. So your recreation stuff, eight raw food. Eight raw food, and we got 20 simple meals. Could we have potentially cooked 20 simple meals before her last meal, which would have been when she woke up today? Maybe. Who knows? Um, oh, we should go and deal with those bug hives. Actually, let's do that right now before I forget. And um, while the trade caravan's still kicking around here, that probably wouldn't hurt. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please run. Okay, hopefully they'll shoot at that. Oh, there's another one we can uh, we can strip there as well. Nice. Okay. Thank God we came back. Right, get everyone squatted up down here, and we'll see if we can take this guy out very quickly. We're going to wipe out all those bug sides so we don't get a repeat of that happening again, because that was kind of a pain in the ass. All right, swap weapons, swap weapons. Excuse me, swap weapons. Galatross wanders in. So Galatross are thrombo, but bigger with a basically a rocket launcher range attack is probably the best way to phrase it. We've seen them in a, a lot of series. I'm sure you guys are more than familiar with them. There it is. These things are also disgustingly hard to kill. Last time we tried fighting it, we had uh, combat extended, but without the Alpha Animals patch, they were literally invincible. Um, even so, don't want to fight them. They are very, very strong. Look how much damage these things can take. Have we got like a mod that makes it so enemies soak up lo loads more damage? Because that was ridiculous. And consider the Panthers as well yesterday. That was pretty insane. Right, so hospital is top priority. I guarantee you before the end of today's episode, we will absolutely have ourselves a hospital built. And hopefully bathrooms for everyone as well. That's going to be my little personal goal to get dealt with for today. I'm going to rip apart these insect hives. We'll spread out a little bit. Okay, what are we looking for? Boom, done. And plenty of insect jelly there as well. Minor food poisoning chance of that, but probably doesn't matter. Right, let's go ahead and get that hauled. That way if I draft them up and undraft them, they might take some home with them. There we go. Oh, actually, before I forget as well, Upsa, what are you carrying? You're carrying a mega whatever it is. Let's go ahead and strip you instead. Grab ourselves a little bit more gear. Uh, you're already stripped. You're strip. Strip. They turn up. Oh, I died. Damn it. So you said they turn up naked? Because we definitely only strip one person, from what I recall. So we've got another. What have we got there? We've got another wooden hammer, which might be good to have both Delta and Upsa with one of those. Because right now they've got the axes. Well, we've got one axe, one hammer, but that would definitely be an upgrade, I think, given the amount of building that we've got to do. So I might go ahead and swap that out, actually. Let's go ahead and pick it up. You can have secondary sidearms, so you can swap between the tools depending on the job that you want to do, but I think. Maybe keep it keep it as simple as we possibly can here. We don't want to be flipping between like three separate weapons whenever we get a raid or anything like that. Cool. Another thing I've also set them to do as well is to build a roof over this area. Um, we did have it before, which collapsed it in on us on the, on the other one. But this time, we'll have to put up some supports because obviously a lot, lot larger now. The little tiny wall that we had over there. That way, apparently deals with the fog a little bit easier. Especially given that people are also crap at shooting, judging by what we saw yesterday. What are you wearing? Are you putting on the plate armor? Uh, he is. You know what? Sure, why not? I know it makes him a lot slower. Um, a feralisk is hunting my quadrogenic originator too for food. Oh, there's also some stuff just lying around there. Hello. Um, oh, this was the baby. Oh, right. We've also got to deal with that. Don't let me forget, for God's sake. Um, this was the baby uh, feralisk. Oh, my God. It actually shits out a load of them. Damn it. So those are going to be a massive penny in the ass. We're just going to go ahead and get those hunted. There's also a crystal mat. I've never seen this before. What does that do? It's a new alpha animals thing. Um... Peppermint that's been genetically modified to feed on minerals. They have a partially silicon-based biology. What do they do? Um, wild worms may prove a nuisance for colonies who rather use the rocks for something useful. Oh. Oh, cool. So they eat uh, stone chunks, I guess. Okay, that is actually quite useful. So seeing as I said we would get the hospital and the kill box done as the top priority, I'm intending on sticking to that. So I've gone ahead and cancelled everything else for the time being. Now, given that the only thing really left to do is do a load of stone cutting and, and obviously build that, I thought I'd send Smooth Octopus and Helotos off, and they've covered a shitload of land in the first day. So the distance between our base and the outpost was only a day. It's got 5.6 days left. So I thought I'd send them over there, get him, get him in early. Luckily, we can uh, get through these mountains without having to worry about much. But the reason I sent two people... Why are you injured? You're still injured from the, uh, from the insects? Anyway, um, the reason I sent these two rather than anyone else, and the amount that I did send was because... I mean, um, it says there's one enemy, but they it's the Empire, right? So they're going to have, what, power armor? More importantly, if they die, we're not going to lose a huge amount. Now, I've also set uh, What's It here to operate on Rose and install, in theory, a mutant eye into her. Uh, bear in mind, she's our doctor, and, having, uh, and being half-blind is really not going to help out with medical treatments, surgeries, operations, whatever else, so... Oh, that was lucky. Holy shit, he actually pulled it off. The madman. Cool. And that solved that problem. Now, we do have to worry about psychic sensitivity, so enemy psychics are going to be very, very powerful against us if we've got all of our people up upgraded with these... Well, upgraded being inverted commas here. But all of them having these limbs that give additional psychic sensitivity. I don't know. It's a bit of a risk. Um, a glittering assembly. Hello. Uh, Consul Apos Dera of the Broken Empire is requesting you build a monument. Uh, no. How about no? Um, also, you know what? With, apparently, you can also scrap... Um, you can also remove old 
request now? God knows how you do that. Um, undismissed. But I don't know how you actually remove it from... Oh, we hit it again. Uh, no idea. Till it expires. Oh, you got to wait for it to expire. I see. What about this one that never does? Who knows? I, I, I thought you could uh, delete quests according to the patch notes. Is we're never going to do quests for the Empire anyway, right? Especially as we are now only 0 0.1 days off of getting to our outpost. One enemy. One enemy versus... I mean, even if they have power armor, we can still... We still should win that, right? So the cool thing is, you guys might remember when we were doing the assimilation series, um, which ended up not having much assimilation associated with it, but the downside to using simple sidearms in that situation was I was constantly going between, you might remember at the start of a raid, I was going through every single person, re equipping their gear. With the simple sidearms, I assume it's the new update that's added this, they will automatically, when they start building, switch over, as you can see there, to their hammer, and then switch back to their weapon when they're done, which I think is really, that saves so much time and effort. I'm really, really glad they've changed that. Simple sidearm is now a 10 out of 10 mod. It was already a really good mod anyway, but the fact that it all, even supports, you know, situations like that is just so cool. All right, here we go. Smooth Octopus and Helitus have arrived at the outpost. What are we fighting? Who am I fighting? What the hell is that even made of? Turquoise. Um, they have a Plasteel Axe and uh. An advanced form of one of... Okay. And some sort of weapon there. Um, a smelly steam... T <laughs> excuse me? A laser... Oh, they actually just have a laser sword. All right. Okay. Um, honestly, this doesn't look too bad. I like that, though. The turquoise walls look cool, huh? Uh, let's see what we can do, then. They've got melee weapons. As long as we run and gun sensibly and don't walk into range of that turret, I think we'll be fine. Um, sunk it down. Okay, they've got indoors. Here's what I'm thinking. If we can shoot that and cut the cable, could we? can we just melee attack the cable? Uh, that would save us some time. Yeah, get in there, cut the cable. That turns off the turret, but it also means that we can salvage the battery on the way back or the solar panel if we've got enough inventory space. Right, God knows how much loot we're going to get already. I've got to be careful that the guy doesn't come out of there, though. All right, here we go, here we go. Right, turret's cut. That should turn it off. Boom, look at that. Okay. Get back. Let's get some distance here. That's one thing we've got. I don't like the idea of that laser sword going anywhere near us. Come on, Obi-Wan. What are you doing? Why is what's it injured? Oh, that was from the insects. Right, got it. There was another hive I missed, it turns out. Okay. Energy shield. What have you got for me? Minus 33. Oh, god damn. This is going to take a while. Okay. Run and gun. Run and gun. Run and gun. There we go. There we go. We are going to get the laser sword. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, do we want to take him prisoner? Can we even take them prisoner? I have no idea. Um, you know what? I'm just going to strip him and kill him dead rather than mess around with uh, more caravan mechanics that I just will never understand. Let's be reasonable. Finish him off. That was an easy raid. Oh, God, the acidifier. Shit, get out of there. So we got ourselves a shield belt. We got ourselves a laser sword. We got ourselves a plasteel axe, which is um, a melee weapon exclusively, unlike the other axes that we've got that, that, that doesn't help out with work speed or anything like that. Let's go check out these buildings then. I really like this turquoise material, whatever it is. Um, what's it made of? <sighs> Fuck knows. Stuff. Turquoise. Oh, it's oh, it's the actual gemstone turquoise. Semi-precious stone. Oh, nice. That actually might be worth taking apart then. And there we go. Side trainer. We got M Oh, we got wall rays. Everybody keeps telling me about how good wall rays is. We got silencer. We got the amplifier, and we've got focus. God knows what focus does. Um, we've got entropy link too. Entropy link I always thought was a bit useless given the last series, but all right. Let's see what we've got. Any any bed rolls? Plenty of beds. No bed rolls. Um, we could also go ahead and claim and uninstall the turret if we want to take that home. Hey, if we've got the inventory space to do so, absolutely. We wanted to mark someone as a builder, though. Uh, there you go. Right, go and get... Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> deconstruct, moron. Right, you go get that one. Um, we'll also uninstall this, and we'll take with us whatever we can. Uh, oh, we can't take the solar panel. We could always take it apart for components. And I am very tempted to take apart this turquoise as well. See if that's any use. We also dropped a Breezing Cloth Took of Defense. Gives armor against sharp and blunt. A few extra hit points there. Minimum comfortable temperature is up and it's a took, so that will also be just true anyway. Let's grab those. Why the hell not? Nice work. Uh, laser Sword is obviously absolutely incredible. What else do we want here? We want to take apart probably that, 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 and that. I'll set these guys to have both have some deconstruct then. Um, and then we'll also go ahead and take apart this room and see what we can grab See if this is actually worth anything. Um, why can't you remove roof area? Oh, did I not tell them to do that? That will explain a lot. It's very, very cold here. Is this even worth taking apart? What's it worth? 420 per turquoise. Um, it's quite valuable then. But probably not worth hanging around risking the frostbite over, is it? 
Right, let's go ahead and deconstruct the power conduit. No, no, no. We want the, we want the heater there. Right, go ahead and take that one apart. And then we'll call it there. Get ourselves some components. We've got ourselves a turret there too, which is quite nice. Not fantastic, but obviously better than nothing. It's taking a very, very long time to take this shit apart. My god. The cold is probably also affecting the work speed a little bit. Oh, you know what? That'll do. <laughs> I'm not going to min-max a fire foam popper as well. That seems a bit silly. Right, world well, map. Let's get this caravan out of here then, team. From caravan, let's take with us the fine meals, the berries, the components, the steel. Ooh, can't carry that much. Obviously, we want to take the stuff that we actually came here for. Let's sort by market value. Just sort by market value in its entirety, and then we'll see what we can take home. Laser sword, psychic silencer, obviously all of this shit. What are we looking at? 38 out of 70 so far. I'd love to take the turret. The battery is very expensive. Not really worth it. Um, what does the smelly steam tech cloth overalls do? Smelly steam tech. Why is it smelly? What does that mean? It gives... Oh, right. So these are the overalls I was talking about. Plant harvest yield and work speed up by 10%. So that'd be useful just to have. Um, we could always put those on. You know, take them with us. It's all right. What's, what's a kilogram anyway? Um... I mean, I know what a kilogram is. I'm saying, you know, conceptually, what do we care about? Like a kilogram of weight. Might as well take that. Oh, it weighs. Uh, it's, it's weight to its market value. It's actually very good. Take as much steel as you can carry. 13.1 towers a day. So it really doesn't make too much difference there. We've got all the food. We've got everything of value, yeah? We've got the shield belt. We've got the entropy link. We've got the trainer, the amplifier, the silencer. And more importantly, a friggin' laser sword, which is quite cool. Now I've got to check whether our people have... Have we got enough food for that? Yep, we already do. We've got so much food it's going to rot before we get back. Well, actually, we'll be able to put it back in the freezer before it rots. Um, is anyone good at melee, then? 8.84, Delta Fear, 7.13. Uh, either of you two good at... Uh, how do I check that? Here we are. Um, what have you got? 10? It'd be a shame not to use this laser sword, especially as we also got the, the plate armor and the... The shield generator too. Oh, good God. What is that going to butcher into? Bacon? Tasty bacon? What does that do? What's trips to an I assume we shouldn't eat that. Although, if we get some prisoners. Or, like I said yesterday, we could build ourselves a nutrient paste dispenser. Get on that. So, how's the killbox coming along? Pretty decently. We got most of one of the two walls, three walls that we have to build there finished. And then we've got a good amount of wood floors down. It's going to take a long time, isn't it? Um, oh, damn. Oh, we put on the wrong plate armor, you fool. To be honest, I'm not even sure I wanted to wear the plate armor. Go ahead and put your put your royal robe on. Oh, hang on. That's tainted, though, isn't it? Um, put your lab coat back on. The plate armor is going to slime down so much. It's the heaviest armor, isn't it? Even heavier than power armor, from what I recall. Let's swap those back out. There you go, team. All right. This is what I was worried about going for the outpost. Our people aren't home yet. And we've got a raid from the Covenant of Barn. Uh, or oh, Orcs's. Danak Black Despoiler, we have uh, Zagang the Ruthless. <laughs> fucking names are getting me ready. Zagang the Ruthless, uh, Shabrook the Rotten, and Grotak the Rotten. Okay, I guess they must be related. Uh, to be honest, luckily, the game has decided to send us a very, very easy raid, especially given that the Panthers pose a much, much bigger threat than what we've got here. I think, given that they're also tribal raiders too, we got very, very lucky this time. We got very, very lucky. If that had ended up being the Emperor, for example, or the Empire, I guess, rather than the Emperor personally, that would have sucked. But this should be a relatively simple, and this is why we need this kill box built, because they are going to... They're fleeing. What? Oh. Oh, shit. Hang on. There's multiple groups. You fool. Uh, oh, there's three more coming down from the top there. Are they going to smash down my... Oh, my God. They're going to smash down the walls. Right. Okay. Um... I have faith that Rose and Upsa can deal with those. What's it and Delta are going to head up to the north. Okay, maybe this isn't as simple as I thought then. We're going to put those guys down here. Well, their numbers will count for nothing. Good luck, squad. Headshot there. That's what we're after. Just slow them down. Kill half. They'll start to flee. That's all we really care about. Good shot. Good shot. Nice, nice, nice. We've got a lot of stopping power with our weapons, even if they're not doing a lot of DPS. Come on, come on, come on. Shabrook, Grow, Brolag knows you need weapons. Come on, kill the other one. Danak. Don't do it, Danak. Uh, Rose and Upsa. So it's Delta and What's It. We have to keep an eye on see if they're in combat. Come on. There we go. Okay, so the other one's going to start to flee now. Uh, wherever the hell he ended up. What? What is even that? Oh, it's one of those raptors. Yeah, I remember. Raptor shrimps. What about he got killed by? It must have been a... Oh! <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I wonder what he got killed by there. All right. Okay. Turns out those things came in, uh, came in a little bit handy. We could always grab ourselves some orc friends. Have any of them got big melee? What about Grotak the Rotten joining our lineup as our melee lord? Give him a laser sword. Let's put him all the way over there. I like that idea. Melee orc. Enemy orc fighter. As he, he hasn't lost anything, has he? 
He's got a bite in one arm and a stab in the other. But other than that, he's in fighting spirit. Slow learner, depressive jogger, gay. I mean, those two traits are obviously horrendous. Jogger is not bad. What have you got? Quick sleeper, psychopath, nervous, bisexual. And then we've got... What have you got here? Uh, excuse me. Bio. Teetotaler, steadfast, sanguine, straight. Oh, he's a lot better. Steadfast and sanguine are so fucking good. We've got to get that guy. And look, he's even bought me the gift of a steel hatchet, the master. Um... 118% tame animal chance. Oh, shit. So we've got to give that to our... Uh, any of our animal taming characters would be fantastic. Nice. I'm not going to fuck around with these other ones. We're just going to kill them dead. Just just go and do them in, Rose. Uh, they're fleeing. Oh, nice. They did a good job. Oh, shit. They got a little bit closer to comfort there. Thank God. We got a pickaxe. Nice. That could have ended a lot worse, huh? Uh, 10 point. What have you got there? Um, Log the Radical. Slow learner, misandrous pessimist, uh, masochist, asexual cunt. Masochist, obviously, is fantastic. He's got 15 construction, too. Um, I may have to capture you. I will capture those two. And if we manage to recruit either, I'll be happy about it. We've got another fucking mutant. Like, hey, you got any more of those, uh, or any of those mutant arms? Those certainly wouldn't hurt. I love the end tables being far away from the bed, too. That's, that's really good. Okay, um, which one was it? It was the one with the... Masochist, asexual kind. Yeah, no, you are a very good character. Capture him. Uh, you can go and finish him off. Melee attack Log to death. Sorry, Log. Should have stripped him. What's he got? Before I kill him dead. Cloth Hood of Labor. What does that do? 102% global work speed. Nah, we're all right. We're just going to kick you in. Goodbye. Okay. Um, what else we got? Bear in mind that our... The only reason I'm doing that is bear in mind our stockpile is full right now. So the last thing we need is more crap cluttering it up, which we're never going to use. We're, we're only keeping it to sell, basically. Delta got a nice new hat over there. Look at that. Um, maybe you guys should also go and tend to our new prisoners. Uh, Delta, if you could undraft, and if you could undraft, how are they looking? Six hours, four hours. No reason why we can't save these guys. What's it? What are you doing? Tend it to Danak. No, uh, tend to... Oh, they're, they're both working on it. He's called Macfoot Skinner. Mac Skinner sounds like a real human man's name, but Mac Foot Skinner sounds... That's not... That's not apostrophed. That's not apostrophed? It's not hyphenated. I'm making it worse now. Um, Mac Foot Skinner. That's so fucking good. And Danak Black Despoiler. Wow, there we go. That's some, that's some cool little additions. We're going to have a real multicultural thing going on here. You know, I want to get some elves. We're going to get some members of the Empire too. Well, we technically got Rose, don't forget. How far are our Smooth Octopus and Helotos are on the home straight now? And our two brave adventurers, Smooth Octopus and Helotos, are back at our base. I came up with an idea while I was watching those guys walk home. I'm thinking Operation Cyber Orc, because we have all these extra new... These extra new research available to us that we never really looked at last time the the additional bionics for example i think it'd be very very cool if we uh if we upgraded the orcs into just these mindless killing machine robots with their laser swords perhaps um all i need rescue oh shit our our friends turn up and got shot well you can't blame me for that also it's it's free real estate. We've got to make sure our people don't... This is what I'm concerned about, though, is our people might head over there and get themselves killed. If we're not careful. Oh, please don't wear that. No, 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 no. I need to say... I need to set them up some loadouts here, but no... No plate armor. That's not... It's not worth it. But who do we upgrade with our psychic powers? I'm thinking Helatos, just based on the fact that right now they've got the mutant eye, and I plan on upgrading with the rest of the mutant limbs. Even though we've got the mutant legs... I mean, he doesn't need the mutant legs, but he could have the mutant legs to increase his psychic sensitivity. 5% um, toxic sensitivity does suck, I will admit, but it also gives the little bonus as well. Even just a 10% move speed bonus is pretty significant. That plus the psychic abilities, I mean, over, let's, let's assume both eyes there, give him a 10%, both legs, both arms. That's a 30% bonus to his psychic sensitivity. That way, we're kind of not putting all the eggs in one basket. The issue with last series with Omega is that we had Omega, we made her our Thane, and we also gave her all of our psychic powers. And she was our best researcher. There was a lot going on there that made it so that when she died, we lost our, a huge amount of, of stuff. If Helatos dies, we're losing our psychic powers, but we're not risking Doubter or Upsa. I think it's a good idea. Let's do it. Helatos, join us, my friend. You always have to learn Burden. Burden is fantastic. Learn Psycast, uh, learn Entropy Link, and if you could learn Wall Raise, that would be ideal. Now we want to hit him with the Psychic Silencer, although it doesn't matter, right? The Empire might catch us. Well, who gives a fuck? The Empire already hate us anyway. I think it would be better just to sell the Psychic Silencer at this stage, surely. Who's the best animal tamer? What's it? 
Uh, they're both very, very similar. So I'm going to give What's It the axe of the master there to allow him to be slightly better at the animal training. we got to make sure we drop the other one, though. Otherwise, he might swap to the one that's obviously not so good. I also don't know if he'll automatically swap to that for animal taming. Uh, bear in mind that I imagine the game can't tell that as well. That'd be very, very impressive if it could. I don't think it'll know to switch over to that automatically based on the fact it gives a small amount of animal taming bonus. But the extra 20% or whatever it was is obviously very, very valuable. Is there any decent animals around worth taming right now? What is a Helixian? Um, it's a horrific giant fucking slug. That's disgusting. Um, it greatly accelerates corpse rotting, liberating a black putrid liquid known as purge fluid or corpse bile happily feeds on this liquid sludge although it can feed other organic matter if needed um it wallows around in human corpses and biodegrades them faster i mean to be fair that is quite useful um not something i'm particularly interested in wasting a lot of time when we've got a lot of other more important shit to do right now what the hell's a razor jack hello that's a funny looking dog what do you do um, very aggressive, adaptable creature with a strange body part plan, a dual mouth that leads to two separate but intertwined digestive systems. Oh, cool. Um, what does it do? Bread and further mutate into fearsome warbies known as a razor tooth used by feral or lord. Okay, um, so it's just a, a big combat animal if we feel like we want to get that. I'm not going to get that matter with things, I don't think. So now, who's our best warden? Uh, we don't have one. Uh, Rose is technically the best with 5 out of 20, but Opsa has the double priority no the double double passion that's the word so let's recruit them uh 46 percent on you 75 percent on you yikes they're not I mean, eventually we'll just get inspirations right? look at delta and moods all the time eventually they'll just get inspirations we'll just be able to recruit them instantly i'm, I'm relying on that more than basically that's probably going to be the only way we can recruit the other guy um the 75 percent one. Oh, that's not bad we did need a little bit more steel to finish off another battery that I'm putting in there ready to try and gain enough power to be able to set this turret up as well. Because that would be kind of a little bit of an extra extra firing power. We'll stick it up there. Like, is, I, I think having one up there to draw a little bit far away from our people certainly couldn't hurt. We'll put down a single embrasure or something like that. I also forced Rose and Watsit to stay awake a little bit longer and get some stone cutting done. Who knows where the blocks went? Uh, where are those blocks going? Um, excuse me, stone... Excuse me? <laughs> uh, I seem to have gone completely mad. Uh, s silver. What the fuck? Did we just stone cut things that now don't exist? Can she work on the... Hang on. Uh, maybe I just can't... Oh, there they are. They're on top of the research bench, right? See, there's no room in the stockpile. Incredible. So I'm going to get them to work on this... No, no, no. Uh, I, as I recall, my friend, I said work on the bottom set of walls there. Just get this stuff done first. Because that way, even it, it just gives us even a few more blocks to... Uh, stop any enemies coming in that's generally the biggest issue is that they are running parallel to our embrasures obviously making them completely ineffective so let's go ahead and get this shit dealt with pretty soon up so what are you doing right now trying to encourage my man matt was in a mac uh flesh mac foot scraper foot skinner close enough oh foot scraper is really gross oh look at that two caravan animals wandered in two desert aves wow they've really upgraded the graphics on those those are really really good now um send them in <laughs> let's go and hunt ourselves some caravan animals i guess go and uh see what we can get from this now as i recall these things are quite vicious and might give us a run for our money so we'll send uh these guys and we'll leave delta and upset look they've almost finished the kill box here i've been trying to force that to get finished i've also planned out a very little bit of a hospital here what i'm doing is giving the hospital basically as close to the kill boxes is feasible but also not so that it's completely undefendable we don't want to put it like right parallel here or behind this but we want it still be connected up to our main utility so it's not a massive pain in the ass say they need to wake up in the middle of the night to tend to someone having to walk all the way down to the kill box itself would be kind of a pain in the ass anyway let's see what you guys have got then um you've got 1155 herring and you've got plant meat whatever the hell plant meat is i think that's from those um why are all the monkeys dead oh look feralisks been hunting them by the looks of it very weird um, we've got to be very careful that obviously we don't accidentally unallow the uh, items near the mechanoid clusters, which we really need to go deal with at some stage. Brilliant. And that right there is why those panthers got the better of us. Unbelievable. Right, okay, here we are. Now you've got to haul ass because these things run very fast. Oh, what's it? Oh, God, I underestimated these, didn't I? Fucking hell. Uh, it's not too bad. Luckily, they aren't the best at melee combat. Who'd have thought? What's it? You need to haul ass, my friend. Otherwise, you are dead. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Okay. 
Um, let's go ahead and finish that one off. I, I think it's uh, meets back on the menu. We've got a lot of monkeys. we got literally almost 1,200 herring of all things. Great. Okay. Um, go ahead and finish that one off. You can undraft. Get me some fishies and some monkeys hold. What did that plant meet? Um, what did that go? I assume that counts as just regular meat. It, it's it's from those, um, what are they called? They're, they're like, um, they're like a Pokemon, but I can't remember what they're called. They're like cactus with legs. They're, they're, they're something they had to buy alpha animals. Right, you go grab that. Um, what's it? Well, before you go home, take some plant meat with you, my friend. Kill box is complete. I want to build this area here and then get some embrasures down for some turrets too. I've got them working on the sort of temporary, but at least dedicated hospital. I was originally building out of wood, but I figured we might as well go for go for limestone and stop setting a really, really bad precedent with that. How are we looking in terms of lavish meals? Uh, we haven't got any shit, so that's going to pause any second now. Uh, God, I'm almost tempted to cancel it for the time being. We need a dedicated cook. We really just need a dedicated cook, because having our builder and our... What? No, 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 don't do that. Having our... What did she do there? I have no idea. Having our builder and our cook and our warden and our crafter and our researcher all as the same two people, it's kind of a pain in the ass, really. So um, I've also readjusted the jobs a little bit here. I might make um, Delta and Upsa do that lower priority and go for that instead. So they'll always focus. To be honest, they'll always focus on it first anyway. So what difference does it make? <sighs> Oh, that's kind of hard. It doesn't. Yeah, it makes really no difference in hindsight, does it? Uh, one thing I did do was drop those guys off so they were focused on plant on stone cutting. Sorry, um, but that again doesn't really make much of a difference. I've also dropped the priority that back down with that. Also, I might just get them to manually do it. I might min max things for a little while until we can uh, sort this out. Why did you not finish the bridge? I told them to deliver to the bridge, and I thought they'd finished it, because getting back between here, I've noticed it's taken them absolutely ages. Oh, shit. Prisoners need food and water, don't they? Bollocks. <laughs> Premium war crimes right there. Um, how far can... Oh, do wells have to draw water from the immediate area? Oh, that could be a problem. Um, well, there's no way we can deliver water to them, is there? Oh, look, there is a small, tiny little bit of water. You can kind of see the... The, the blue gradient there. So we'll have to stick that down. Let's get Opsa to go and work on that immediately. Because the last thing we want is these guys dying of something preventable like thirst. Where we could just easily dig them a well and be done with it. To make up for the fact that we do have a wardener. Well, I've set both of them to warden now. Because one was not enough to keep them both happy and fed and whatever else. But we've got two wardens. Both of them are also our builders. One of which is our research. One of which is also our cook. I've decided to bump up delivery to highest priority for everybody. But obviously the people that are building. Uh, what I've also done is drop down harvesting, plant cutting, and growing down to priority two. Given they didn't really make much of a difference anyway, the only thing it was ahead of at that stage was deliver anyway. So I want them to deliver first, then harvest, grow, whatever. Second, we're not low on food. I could cut these farms in half and we'd still be more than okay. What this is going to allow us to do is still get our building done in a timely manner without affecting anything hopefully important here um what i've got to do also very quickly before i forget is put down a friggin doormat on this hospital otherwise our people are going to die of very preventable causes so just also make sure i've got plenty of other uh have i got doormats down everywhere so we got one there, there 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 there's good yep we're good all right perfect so what was this for oh this was our boiler room for ready when we get down to building our bathrooms which we'll have to start tomorrow now because this has taken way 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 longer than anticipated but that what have you got there Shoot Frenzy. Oh, they both got shoot. Oh, you got Inspired Surgery. Got it. Um, tempted to recruit Danak. Yeah, again, it's taken so bloody long to get these fuckers recruited. I thought I put both of them on Wardening. That way they can get that done. Train up the social both kind of equally as well. Again, it's not all putting our eggs in one basket like I've done in previous series. That's, that's what I'm trying to beat this time around. But this should be our hospital. Now, what I've also done is decided to build the... Oh, hang on. <coughs> All right, what I've also decided to do here is put down wooden lamp end tables. That way we can... Oh, I'm going back to be more fucking lavish meals, huh? Um, we can always have lamps right next to the beds, which means always giving, in theory, the, the most light for surgeries. I thought that was, that was the safest idea for that one, rather than have lights putting around and risking the lower... or the cables get cut or anything like that. It's right next to the beds. You can't go wrong with that. Plus, we get the comfort bonus out of it, too, for only a tiny little bit more steel. Right, finish oh, finish this room. You're not leaving this hospital until it's finished. For God's sake, you people get so distracted. Okay, fine, I get distracted. Also, clean the room, and then let's also send in that robot. Uh, all right, perfect. Let's do that. We could also probably clean the doormats, too. That probably couldn't hurt. Um, should we clean up the... 
Let me clean up the freezer, because that's kind of a bit of a dump. Uh, probably also causing a lot of dirt, given that there is quite literally dirt. Um, I need to work on the floors a little bit more as well, I think. So we'll go ahead and just make sure all of this is being cleaned. Get that other robot repaired. That's also going to be something we try and get done as soon as possible. I'm just getting the very edges of the base covered now. Also get that dealt with, otherwise they're just going to traipse in a shitload more dirt. There we are. That looks a little bit better. And with that, we've got ourselves one hospital. Very nice. Okay. Uh, and it's fairly convenient, too. We've roofed over the kill box. We have the embrasures done. We have uh, a turret kind of waiting to be set up there. Obviously, a long time before it will be. I've got to get down a few more floors. And then, as far as I'm concerned, the rebuilding today has... I I've tried to really focus in on today, so... Hopefully, that will solve a lot of the issues that were brought up in the comments section. Again, if you see anything else, of course, please feel free to shout out. I do check the comments for every episode, as you guys are probably well aware at this stage. So, helps me remember some of the things I've forgotten, because I've already got a lot to do with dealing with OBS, which has given me nothing but nightmares this past month, as I'm sure you're also well aware. Thank you all for watching. We'll leave that one there for today, then, because well, I was going to say, because OBS is being shitty, and <laughs> OBS stopped recording. So, prophetic. Thank you to the insane top-tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place shout out goes out to anthony gawley bacon kitten aromatic fool roll 2 d1 games huey longdong belleg strombo derek grimwolf asana kirito gogolus limpy george and everyone else at the insane tier lovers on patreon as well thank you guys for going to the highest degree of channel supportage available and thank you as well goes out to Callum McLeod, bockbin i see the great empty machine mason attila udrick Haddon, sothor the swede emperor caligula justin rules and everyone else at the insane tier lovers on patreon as well for their support in saving the channel see you all tomorrow for building some bathrooms i need a marketing team